What's up guys, welcome to the channel. Super excited about this new product I'm gonna show you guys. This is the Blue Eddy AC70, just released this month in November. I think it was November 3rd was the release date. Really nice power station. We're gonna go ahead, dig into this power station. I'm gonna show you the features. We'll test it out a little bit. You know I like to bring the deals, so I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys know how you guys can pick one of these up or some other Blue Eddy products up at a real deep discount during their Black Friday sale. So let's go ahead guys and get into the video. This power station is going to be great for a wide range of appliances. Not only will this easily charge your cell phone or electronic devices, you'll be able to power refrigerators, smaller power tools, small heaters, perfect size for portability. Go ahead and check out what it comes with this. Of course you're going to get your user manual any information that you need to find is going to be in there because this does have a lot of features and then you're going to get your AC power cord there is a few different ways to be able to charge this so you got your AC power cord then you got your cord for your solar panels and then you also have a 12 volt cord so you can charge this in your car also you'll get this little bag and inside of this bag is going to be a grounding screw because the blue eddy does have a spot on the side to be able to ground it if you guys can see right on the top here you get your dc or your solar input right below that you'll get your dc output and that is rated at 10 amps Right in the middle, you get your USB-C ports, two of them, one on each side, and they're rated at 100 watts. You get two USB-A ports at 12 watts. Right above that, you got your DC button, your power button, and your AC button. And then right above that, you have your display. Display is very nice, bright, and crisp. It's gonna give you all your information. It's gonna give your AC input, AC output. Same thing with the DC on this side. It's gonna give you what the charge of the battery is, what the percentage is, along with how many hours is left. And then it does have some other various mode settings that you can change either on the Blue Eddy itself or through the app. Then all the way over here, we have two AC inputs and these are rated at 1000 watts. Go ahead and look on the side of it here. This is gonna be your AC input. So this is what you're gonna use the charging cable to charge this. This is where you put your ground screw on the back. Nothing but a little bit of specs. You got your carry handle there, which is integrated into the power station. You got your fan and venting on this side. You do have on the bottom some rubber pads, so this won't slip off a table. And that is about it. Nothing on the top here. This does not have any wireless charging built in. This is a 1000 watt power station, but this does have a peak output of 2000 watts in what they call power lifting mode. It weighs in at about 22 pounds, so not very heavy. As you guys can see, not very big either. Now, even though this power station can continuously power 1000 watts or up to 2000 watts, I still probably wouldn't push it with say a 1500 watt electric heater or something like that over a period of time because it's not gonna last long. This does only have a 768 watt hour battery so it will drain this power station pretty fast but it will power it in a pinch if you did need it. This can be charged from 0% to 80% in just 45 minutes using the AC cable. And like I said earlier, it can be charged through DC or solar. This does have a lithium battery in it and it boasts 3000 plus life cycles. Now this does have seven outputs and you can use all seven outputs at one time. You also can charge the power station at the same time you have devices plugged into it. And then up here it'll show you the wattage input and the wattage output. All right guys, so the cool thing about this is that Blue Eddy does have an app. So here's a look at the app. It's gonna allow you to power on your device, power off your device, and pretty much see what is on this display, just in case you have this located in an area that is not visible. Um, this is connected through Bluetooth, so you can control it all through the app here. You also have some settings that you can change. You can turn your DC on or off, your AC on or off. Pretty much everything you need 
to be able to operate this. Now the cool thing about this is it does have a couple special modes. So this does have a few different charging modes. It has turbo mode, which is gonna give you the fastest charging. That's where you're gonna get the zero to 80% within 45 minutes. They do have two other modes. One is a standard mode and one is silent mode. Both of these are a little bit slower, not much of a fast charger, but it's gonna be better for the health of the battery. So you can change those. Currently I just plugged it in and I'll give you guys an idea of the different modes. So right now we have this on turbo charging mode and as you guys can see, AC input is 932 watts. Now if I go in here and I change this to standard mode, click over to standard mode, standard mode we're right around 440 watts so you see it dropped the wattage and then we can also go to silent mode down here effectively slow down the fan speed and reduce noise hit ok and then we drop down to about 200 and say 70 268 269 so this is silent mode um, it's going to be slowly charging and the fan's going to turn down so if you're charging this while you're sleeping in a small camper or a tent or something like that that would be a nice option. Also in the app you can turn on or off power lifting mode and that's going to get you that max of 2000 watt output. They got eco for your DC and your AC so you can turn that on and off. Got your auto sleep firmware upgrade so pretty much everything that you need to adjust the settings. Now if you do not want to use an app, all you got to do is hold in the AC and DC buttons and you can change all the settings right on the screen here by just using these two buttons. So to change anything you're going to hit the AC button. So this is the frequency from 50 to 60. It's going to take it over to the next setting which is going to be your sleep setting down here. The, ne the next one is going to be your power lifting mode if you want to turn that on and off. Eco mode on or off. Bluetooth on or off. So real nice that you can actually change the settings right on the Blue Eddy itself. And if you want to go back to your regular display just go ahead and hit both of those at the same time and then it'll just take you right back to your display. So you can either use the app. The app does come in handy if you do not have this within a view to be able to view the status of the power station. So right there it's telling me 268 watts, 81%. And then if I had something plugged into this, it would show the AC or DC output. And then like I said, you also can turn it on or off from your app. So really nice, convenient way to monitor the Blue Eddy. All right guys, so we got it charging right now. We're gonna go ahead and plug in my phone, turn on the DC output there. So as you guys see there, 17 watt output for my phone and 269 AC input. And it does say super fast charging with the 100 watt USB-C. I think it says that it'll charge your cell phone like 60, 65 times, but we're gonna check out this heater. This is a 1200 watt electric heater. Go ahead and plug this in, we'll test this out. So if you have an issue, say your power goes out or something like that and you need some heat, this might be an option. Turn on the AC here and we'll turn this on high. And we're looking at about 1160, 1159, 1162 for the wattage. I'll zoom in there so you guys can see it. So there is the output wattage, we're at about 1155, 56. Shows the percentage of the battery and how much time it will be before this drains if you ran this consistently. So it doesn't seem like it has an issue running the heater. And currently right now this is not in power lifting mode. So this is just in its regular output mode. So it doesn't look like there's any issues there with it. So 
So we'll go ahead and we'll test out something else. Let's try a heat gun. I got a cheap heat gun here. Should be about the same wattage, but we'll see if it acts any different. So, we're actually a little bit less wattage at 1130-ish. As you guys can see, really draining that battery at this high output. But not having an issue running these power hungry devices. All right guys, so we're gonna step it up to a 13 amp circular saw. So we'll see how well this works. So as you guys see there, it overloaded the Blue Eddy. I'm gonna go ahead and reset this. And then I'm gonna change it into power lifting mode, which is up to 2,000 peak watts, and we'll see if it'll be able to handle it now. So it looks like in power lifting mode, it didn't have an issue. All right, so for you guys that are campers that might have one of these portable coolers that are actually a fridge, they got the compressor built inside. I actually used this on my last weekend trip and ran it to this Blue Eddy. I just plugged it in just now, so it's starting to cool down. The compressor is on. Right now it's pulling about 80-ish, bouncing around, but the highest I see it peaked out to is about 80-ish watts. And it's saying that it would last 64%, it's gonna last about five hours. Now, as you guys know, just like regular refrigerators, these compressors, once they get down to the temperature they need to be, then the compressor kicks off. So this five hours-ish is gonna actually be a little bit longer, and it is at 63%, it's not fully charged right now. So this would be a nice power source for you guys that are campers or overlanders, anything like that, if you guys got one of these portable coolers that have the built-in compressor. All right guys, did another test. Cooler is plugged in, and the heater I just plugged in on high, and right around 1200 watts this is not in power lifting mode right now and it seems to be holding both of these devices so there's a look at display like i said we're right around a little under 1200 watts but you guys will see this is going to drop pretty fast it's already seems like it drops about a percent like all right guys, so you just seen it go into protect mode. I had the heater running with the mini fridge running and it went into overload. So we're gonna go ahead and try that again, but put it in power lifting mode. So I just changed it on my app. We'll reset this. And that didn't last longer than a minute. So we'll see, that just kicked on. So right now, I'll zoom in there. The fridge just kicked on and we're at 82 watts. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the heater right now. Just turned on the heater. And we're at 1032 in power lifting mode. So I think what's going on in power lifting mode is instead of the Blue Eddy overloading with too much wattage, it brings down the wattage to a suitable range. So I'm assuming this heater may, might not be getting the full 1200 watts that it needs to run at 100%. I know with the EcoFlows, it'll kind of step down the wattage. Instead of overloading, it'll just send a different amount of wattage to this. 
to still be able to run it but not be able to run it at its highest efficiency so I think that's what the Blue Eddy's doing right now because we got the heater running and the cooler is running it's not going into overload but it's also only saying that it's pushing about 1032 for the output so we'll go ahead and let this run for a little bit to see if it does any overloading all right guys so I've been running this for about five minutes both the heater and the fridge we're at about 1037 output for the AC and I actually did use my stopwatch and we're dropping a percent about every 23 seconds so as you guys can see already at 38 percent so it's dropping pretty fast so like I said earlier this wouldn't be ideal to run high wattage items like this heater um, it'd be better to use this for charging cell phones maybe powering a laptop use it for like a mini fridge but anything that's going to be pushing over a thousand watts continuously it's going to drain this blue eddy pretty fast something that is power hungry like heaters power tools consistently you're going to want to upsize to something a little bit bigger than the ac70 and blue eddy's got tons of different models you can choose from so i definitely recommend something a little bit bigger but if you're just using these for smaller items like cell phones laptops or using maybe a coffee maker or something like that just to make a cup of coffee real quick hot plate for a short period of time this would work just fine all right guys so there you go a quick rundown of the new blue eddy ac70 and blue eddy is having a black friday and cyber monday sale it's going to start november 10th all the way to november 27th and it's going to have some pretty big discounts potentially you're going to be able to save up to two thousand on some of their select products compared to what their retail prices are so really a good time to pick up one of these power stations with the good deals that Blue Eddy's doing. And as you guys know, we've been having some crazy weather lately and a lot of power outages. So it's definitely smart to pick up one of these power stations, whether it's this size, something bigger, or even something smaller, depending on what you want to use it for. Blue Eddy's got tons of different models, and right now they got huge discounts going on. All right, guys, so if you want to pick one of these up, they got these on Amazon, or you can go directly to Blue Eddy's website. I make sure I put links in the description box below for both Amazon and Blue Eddy, and I also got discount codes down there. Blue Eddy's doing some really good deals right now, guys, so this is a great time to pick up one of their power stations. Hopefully, you guys found the video useful. Make sure you use those links down below and the discount codes, guys. If you found value in this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you got any comments or anything, go ahead and put those down below. Until the next one, guys, I will talk to you later.